This is Force of 13, it's Australia, Oceania Channel with the latest on the severe weather system impacting parts of uh, Queensland. And we start off with the latest really severe weather warning. Damaging winds, heavy rainfall for the people in the Herbert, Lower Burdick and Central Coast with Sundays parts of the Northern Goldfields, the Upper Flinders, Northwest Central Hainan, Coldfields and the Central West Forecast Districts. Heavy rainfall risk remains possible between Townsville and Serena, adjacent inland areas and over the northwestern interior. Deep tropical low, invest 96p, located about 150 kilometres northeast of Julia Creek. Extends a vigorous monsoon trough eastward through about Wallingston. Both features are currently slow moving. Now, this is a look at local radar earlier this morning. And for the southeast corner of Queensland, which is welcome news. Uh, my HQ's had about well, just under 50 millimetres since 9am yesterday, but the bulk of it's been overnight. And the Bureau of Meteorology continues to do extra observation readings here in Queensland. I had a nice uh, wind gust about oh, 2 a.m. Now on the screen is a look at the area under the Bureau of Severe Weather Warning. Rainfall rates were mostly moderate overnight, however areas of heavy rainfall could we develop during the day in the warning area? Six hourly totals of between 150 to 200 millimetres remains possible. Heavy rainfall is most likely to occur south of Townsville. However, the threat of severe thunderstorms with heavy, potentially intense Rainfall remains a risk in the warning area and rainfall totals 120 millimetres at Michael Creek. Alert in the 6 hours to 1 a.m. Damaging wind gusts to 90 kilometres an hour possible in coastal areas south of Airlie Beach and areas that may be affected include Mackay Townsville, Bowen Air, Palm Island, Wallingstone, Possipine, Connorsville, they're back in the warning area, the Wits Sundays and Serena. For the northwestern interior, heavy rainfall may lead to flash flooding, likely to continue across the northwestern interior south of the tropical low. And six hourly rainfall totals of between 60 to 120 millimetres, or 60 millimetres to 120 millimetres possible, and 79 millimetres fell at Richmond in the six hours to 2 am, and locations Junior Creek, Richmond, and Winton. Now we have a look at the 12 hourly uh, rainfall outlook from the Bureau of Meteorology for the state of Queensland. There are no warnings in place for uh, New South Wales. Strong wind warning, Port Phillip Bay, West Central Coast, Central Gippsland Coast, East Gippsland Coast.
No warnings for South Australia. And strong wind warning for the far north, central north coast and east of Flinders Island, Tasmania. Now here's another look at the Townsville uh, radar. Rainfall activity continues. And what's happening up there in the Northern Territory? The uh, Bureau has a severe weather warning for abnormally high tides for people in parts of the Ardham and Carpentarian districts. Abnormally high tides for the southwest Gulf of Carpentaria. Monsoon Low is located over northwest Queensland, south of the Gulf of Carpentaria and is producing a storm surge around the Group Island and the southwestern Gulf of Carpentaria and may lead to coastal flooding on the high tide over the next few days. Abnormally high tides may cause sea water flooding along lying areas in coastal areas between Groot Island, the eastern islands of the Sir Henry Pitlou groups for the next few days. And the warding area Adian Gura, Number War and Port Mac MacArthur. Apology for the pronunciation on those first two. Severe weather warning for damaging winds, abnormally high tides in place for parts of the peninsula Gulf Country Forecast Districts. Risk of tidal inundation around the Gulf Coast, damaging monsoon all squalls possible about the northern Cape York Peninsula, including the Torres Strait Islands. Deep Tropical Low, located 150 kilometres northeast of Judea Creek, extends a vigorous monsoon trough eastward through about Wildeston, and as mentioned, both are currently slow moving. Monsoonal squalls in thunderstorms with gusts to 100, up to 100 kilometres an hour may also occur about the northern Cape York Peninsula and north of Reaper, including all Torres Strait Islands. Locations which may be affected include Reaper or Torres Strait Islands, Arakoon, Armapoon, Pawpawal and Kawamba. Now we have a look at the total forecast array by the Bureau of Meteorology. Force 13's main channel will be going live in uh, around an hour from now. We will have more later on this afternoon. You can follow Force 13's outlets, the website force13.com, our YouTube page youtube.com forward slash force13, on Facebook under the same name Force 13 and our Twitter handle, it's at Force 13 if you wish to get in touch. You can also add Force 13 on Skype and my personal account on Discord Fool 13 at extension 9094.